Hey, hey, kids. Um, this is a little screencast to tell you guys about your next project. Um, it's going to be a video project uh, over the summer. And we're calling it Trippy Bro. Um, I'm here creating it in the Staff of Life Cafe. You can hear the waterfall in the background. Hopefully, it's not too annoying. Forgive me if it is. So this is going to be part one of the uh, project. First and foremost, take a trip. Um, this can be a trip to your backyard. This could be a trip to um, Vancouver, like the trip that I'm going to take. Yeah, on the train all the way from Cali, Vancouver, San Juan Islands, and Seattle. Um, and I'm going to be doing this with you guys. Uh, so along my travels, I'm going to be snapping photos the whole time um, and be creating a video with you guys, so we'll be doing this together. Joy. <clears throat> um, so it's going to be taking a trip, documenting with photos. Uh, something else too, you know, if, if you'd rather take a digital trip, that's totally cool too. So you could just, I don't know, like go on the wiki travel and um, find somewhere and you say you wanted to go to Bahia, uh, Salvador in Brazil. You know, you could just look at photos that you find on the net and use those as your, um, your kind of digital uh, trip. Um, so then documenting with photos, you guys all have your um, handy dandy uh, cameras as the school district has provided you with its endless uh, funds and resources. And your killer iMacs, uh, your MacBooks, that have iMovie and iPhoto, and they work great, and you have excellent internet coverage. This is all ideal, of course. So anyways, let me walk, let me walk you through this. Um, once you get your, your photos, you'll be able to either just plug your camera in and drop them on your desktop. Um, and plug them directly into iMovie. Or you can drop them into iPhoto, which is what I'd actually encourage you guys to do because then you can kind of mess around with your photos too. So here's some examples of a, a, a trip I took a couple years ago. This is just one day actually in New York. Um, whoa, who's up for the looking guy? And you can doctor these if you'd like. So double click on a photo and edit it. Um, go on to effects here. Adjust. And you can document the uh, doctor the exposure, the contrast, uh, saturation, you know, all this stuff. Look at sepia. Have fun with it. Um, you can always go back up to photos. Oops. And go to uh, revert to original. If you don't like the changes that you made. Okay. So once you have all your photos loaded into your trip, click on your first one. Scroll down, hold down shift, and then click on the last one, and it'll select all of them. You can also just go up to uh, edit and hit select all. So then click on any one of those photos and hold down, and that'll choose all of them. Oops. I want my girlfriend's computer. My uh, quick phone is a little different. So then we'll go into iMovie. And it says, drag me to here to create a new project. Drag me to there to create a new project. Okay, pretty simple um, so far. The fun part will be actually adding the video, um, messing around with transitions from one slide to another, putting in the music, um, a lot of different Cool things that you can do with iMovie. To give you an example, too, this is a uh, this is another train trip I took a couple years back. Well, from that someone there that went to New York, 
and, and other places. I'll show you just a, a little bit of this. Um, this is the final project. So on this one, see I sped up the amount of time that you see each slide, so it's really, really, really fast. And then once I uploaded the music on every hi-hat, I made that slide stick a little bit longer. There, 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 like that. Uh, uh. So that's one idea of the many, many, many things that you can do with iMovie. I want you guys to just really have fun and get creative with it. Like I said, um, we'll be going over part two of the project uh, later on. For now, it's just taking your trip, taking the photos, or snagging photos from the net uh, for your digital trip and then loading them into iMovie, either directly or by iPhoto. Okay, so these are all loaded in now. And if you guys want to jump ahead and just start playing around, um, absolutely encourage you to do so. All of these little buttons, if you hover over it with your cursor, it'll show you what it does. <coughs> So, um, so as it is now, see, they just kind of, they do the, I think it's called the Ken Burns effect, where you kind of like zoom in and out. Okay. <clears throat> what else do I have to tell you? I think that's about it. So like I said, we're heading up to Vancouver, San Juan, and Seattle. I'm going to be doing this project along with you guys. I'm going to be snapping my photos. Um, check the blog. There will be updates and um, this is a great place as always for you guys to just hit me up with the questions. Um, that's me right there. They should know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what he's thinking. Anyways, so have fun, guys. Have awesome trips. Uh, you know, part of the whole thing, too, is just to be creative and check out your surroundings. Uh, like I said, this can be a trip to your backyard. Um, and it can be one of the raddest projects. So, have fun with it. All right, you guys. Talk to you soon.